Welcome to another episode of Around the Bases. I'm Mike Eamon. And I'm Tara Lanezak. We have a lot going on today with the MLB Draft, and there are many promotions coming up this weekend at the different stadiums. I'm here right now with FCBL insider Mikey Parnell. Mike, thanks for coming down here today. Twelve players drafted in the Major League Draft from the FCBL from all over the country, many different colleges. But there's four here that we really want to talk about. The first one being Tyler Bachelor, the right-handed pitcher out of South Georgia College, picked in the 11th round by the New York Mets. And now we know we talked before, we said he had second to fifth round talent, mm -hmm. but he dropped to the 11th. What are his tools and why did he drop to the 11th round? Well, Bachelor's a very interesting guy. Um, he was a second to fifth round talent coming into the draft. Um, but he dropped due to signability concerns. He's a right-handed pitcher, probably a reliever at the pro level. Uh, he can run his fastball. He sits around 94 to 96. He's been up to 99, even 100 in the fall. Um, but he dropped down to the 11th round due to signability concerns. Several teams contacted him in the third round, um, offering below slot money, perhaps. Um, and he wanted slightly more than that. So he dropped to the 11th round. Um, but he's probably going to get paid. He's probably, he probably will sign eventually. And the second guy we got here, Creighton Bear, the lefty out of Baylor. He was picked in the 28th round by the Dodgers. We talked about him about being a bullpen guy, crafty lefty, 85 to high 80s fastball, a good curveball. Talk to me about Bear a little bit. Yeah, he's a pitchability lefty. Uh, he had a great season at, uh, at Baylor this year. He's their best bullpen piece. Um, and like you said, he's, he's 85 to 89 with the fastball. He can spot it to both sides of the plate. He's a very good curveball. Um, he's an interesting guy. He's probably you know, a lefty specialist at the next level. Next guy, Connor Beer felt the catcher, picked by the Orioles. What kind of tools does a catcher need today to be noticed by Major League Scout? And what did he have that the Orioles noticed? Well, the inter interesting thing about Bierfeldt, actually, is that he was drafted as an outfielder, but he's been working out as a catcher. He's played outfield his entire life, um, and he caught a little bit this year at Western Connecticut State. Um, but he's been working out as a catcher. He was actually at a tryout last weekend. His, his pop time to second, his ability to you know, release the ball quickly and get it down to second base was uh, above major league average, plus uh, a plus tool for him. So he needs to be able to, to def refine that a little bit. It's a little raw right now, yeah. but... Um, it will, it will be better going forward. And the last guy here we want to talk about, Colin O'Keefe, the lefty out of Virginia Tech, 33rd round by the Angels, another New England kid. What did he have that the Angels noticed in being a left-handed pitcher? And also, don't forget, the lefty stock is very high these days. Exactly. Um, he only pitched, he pitched about 10 innings at Virginia Tech this year, um, but he has premium velocity from the left side, and there's not too many guys in the draft that can throw 94, 95 from the left side. Um, he's a little wild. Um, but I think the Angels, they, they looked at that premium velocity, and that's probably why he was taken there as a flyer late in the draft to see if they can iron out his mechanics a little bit mm -hmm. um, and perhaps make him a bullpen piece going down the road. The Futures Collegiate Baseball League, there's major league talent at these games. People, come down, check out these people. FCBL insider Mikey Parnell. Mike, appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back to Around the Bases. As you all know, the FCBL has many beautiful parks, and these teams have a lot of great promotions to get the fans out there. Tara, what do we got going on? That's right, Mike. Tomorrow, June 12th, Pittsfield is having a Chew Tissue Night to honor noses and tissues everywhere. And for all of you who can't sit in your seat the whole time at a baseball game, I know that's me sometimes, on Saturday night, it's Dance Fever Night, where you can show off your dance moves. Mike, you're going to make it out to the park, show off your Macarena, Cupid Actually, Shuffle? Actually, everyone knows I got some of the best dance moves around, so yes, I might be there. And it's a big weekend for the Nashua Silver Knights, since on Saturday it's the 75th anniversary of their stadium on Sunday. On Sunday, they are giving away Rick and Dick Hoyt bobbleheads and having a $1,000 money drop in its Snowman Sunday, where there will be snowmen's provided by the local ice arena at Holman Stadium. If you like to drink out of a red solo cup and love country music, get down to Old Orchard Beach to see the Raging Tide face off with Seacoast on Thursday for their Red Solo Cup Country Night. And finally, the North Shore Navs and Seacoast are honoring all the great dads out there on Sunday for Father's Day. Dads get free admission to the games, and at the North Shore Navs game, they receive a free Navs hat. So as you can see, there's a lot of fun stuff and exciting promotions. So for all of you fans out there, make it to one of the ballparks to participate in all of the fun that's happening this weekend.
It's also a big night on Friday, seeing as there's an exhibition game in Lowell where the Nashville Silver Knights will be playing against the Lowell Spinners or the Class A affiliate for the Red Sox. That game will also be free for admission. In addition to this, this week's FCBL Hitter of the Week was Wachusett's Jamil Maquette out of UMass Boston. The outfield has already hit two home runs in his first two games of the season, as well as two doubles. The FCBL Pitcher of the Week this past week was Wachusett's Nick Filaramo out of Wheaton College. The righty went five innings, a four-hit ball, striking out nine and walking none. And that's all we have today for this episode of Around the Bases. Until next time, I'm Mike Eamon. And I'm Tara Azak. See you at the ballpark.